Hello, my name is Rick Fryer, and I'm the author of the Keepers Trilogy, and I thank you very much for your time. Now, as the name implies, the first book in the Keepers Saga tells about a potential Third World War, which ultimately revolves around Geyseric, the dictator of the Apex Empire. The Apex is a collective of nations, including the technological powerhouse of Japan, the billion-plus population of India, and the small but strategically important state of Israel, all under the overlordship of Germania, a greater Germany that now encompasses Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Slovenia, and Austria. Germania and all the major nations in the Apex were united through the careful manipulations of this new silver-tongued tyrant. But Geyseric differs greatly from those who preceded him, such as Hitler. For one thing, he's far from being a racist. As I said before, one of his greatest allies is Israel. And in fact, the Jewish people as a whole are one of his greatest allies, both economically and politically. Once Geyseric is able to amass this vast amount of human and natural resources, he unleashes yet another world war upon humans. The Keepers belongs in the genre of speculative fiction, which is science fiction that does not drift as far into the fantasy. A lot of people have more aptly called it science faction. I like to think of The Keepers as a Pentagon scenario analysis. The Pentagon will release theses of potential future scenarios, such as wars and outbreaks of plague, and this is very similar to that in that reality is the ultimate anchor. One of the major tasks that I focused on for this book was to show how the seeds for this potential future are being sown right here in the present. For instance, what you see here is the most advanced quadrupedal robot ever made. It is called the Big Dog and it was created for the US military to negotiate the rocky and mountainous terrain of Afghanistan. It is a supply carrier, it can go where Hummers cannot. The creators of Big Dog are Boston Dynamics and Boston Dynamics is presently working on creating larger and faster quadrupedal robots that will even take the place of tanks one day. Now when I came up with the Panzer Quadrupedal Battle Machine, as it is called in my book, this was long before Boston Dynamics released these designs and concepts to the public. At one of my book signing events at a science fiction convention, there happened to be a man there that worked for the CIA and for SWAT. And he told me that I should put in my second and third books the use of bug-like bugs. He told me the intelligence community was working on creating and near perfecting minute robots that resemble insects and spiders are little microphones and things that can actually look like insects and act like insects. Brilliant! We can actually yeah. discuss that. Yeah, yeah they're all like <laughs> this. <laughs> this thing that looks like a spider. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're perfecting that now. As I said earlier, these are all based off of the field of science and engineering known as biomimicry, which means imitating life. This is what gave inspiration for all of the Animalian projects, which form the backbone for this futuristic war epic. You have the shark and dolphin-like naval submarine attack craft, the sidewinder moving fortress, of course, as I said, the quadrupedal battle machines. There are jets that use the raptor-like ability to move their shoulders separately from their heads. There are the hummingbird-like craft, the charioteers, the sky infantrymen. At present, we're working to generate interest in the video game and film community. Project developers have shown some interest, and such is why we created this animation to really bring to life these vehicles. A lot of my fans compare me to writers such as Orson Scott Card and Robert Heinlein. They say I've got the gritty realism of Dune.
Well, I hope I've generated a little interest with you. And once again, I thank you very much for your time.